Hi guys, welcome back to Sugar Spice and Rosé. My name is Erica and today I will be showing you how to make what I am calling a toned beauty cake. It's a Fenty Beauty inspired cake and I'm going to show you how to color the fondant, how to marble the fondant and how to imprint or indent the pattern or the face into the fondant. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, please keep on watching. To start, you're going to take some brown fondant and I'm going to link the video showing you how to color the brown fondant and you're going to take that brown fondant and roll it into the shape of a carrot and then do the same thing with your white fondant, roll it into the shape of a carrot. When you've rolled it into the shape of the carrot, you're going to place it on the opposite end of the brown carrot shaped fondant. So the pointy end is going to be on the thicker end of the chocolate, of the <laughs> brown color fondant. Then you're going to cut it in four. And at each stage where it is cut, you're going to blend those colors using a little bit of vegetable shortening or lard to stop it from sticking to your hand. You're going to blend those together until it is a seamless color. Now you're going to take the lightest color fondant and add some red food coloring to get a nice blush red color. So I went in later and added some more red. And then for the darkest skin tone color, you're going to add some more chocolate brown to the darkest piece of fondant you have. To get a lighter brown, you're going to add a little bit of red with a bit of yellow food coloring. Blend that together and to get the lightest shade, you're going to add some yellow fondant to the lighter shade of brown that you have there. So I'm going to show you how I messed up <laughs> this pattern at first. So as you can see, I tried to cut like an irregular shape with the fondant and then fit it in like a puzzle piece and all kinds of thing. And honestly it didn't look good you know you're going to see me take it off the cake but it really did not look good i didn't like the way it blended or anything like that and as you can see i didn't allow the fondant to dry properly so it was all soft because you know i keep mentioning i live in a hot country so it it was the cake was sweating me and the cake was sweating together you the, the, the two of me the sweating good you know it's like they're hot so the cake was sweating so i had to remove so i had to remove that fun and start fresh in a sense so i dyed that blush color a little bit more red to give it more of a pigment then i redyed some of the fondant and i rolled them into smaller balls and put them together that you would have seen me done just now and i marbling that to get the marble side of the cake because i'm doing two sides And then you see me tear the fondant because it was a bit too structured or too perfect. I wanted it to blend a little bit more. So I am tearing the fondant a little bit, rolling once again, using icing sugar, a little bit of icing sugar where necessary. And I'm cutting out the panel of fondant using a template I made of the cake. And you're going to see the cake very shortly. So then I placed that on a baking sheet. For your next side of cake, I took three colors of fondant, as you can see the brown, the lighter tone and the blush tone and I cut out some irregular shapes and I placed those overlapping just a bit, sticking them on with some water. And as you roll this particular design, the circles or the shapes are going to get even more distorted, which is what we want. So using some icing sugar to make sure it doesn't stick, I'm going to roll that out and then I'm going to take some fondant and tear it to create like a jagged edge 
and basically overlap it just a bit so that it would have a um, somewhat more natural marbled look or natural blended look I should say then I'm going to repeat the step of taking my template and cutting out the panel of fondant Then I took templates of the side of the cake and cut out those panels as well. For the artwork that we're going to be using, I'm going to link it. It is a pattern of an abstract face. I, I think that's what I'm going to call it. So I took a piece of parchment and a pencil and I traced that drawing onto that parchment. And then I took that traced drawing and I placed that on top of the still soft fondant and I just traced that pattern into the fondant whilst it's still soft and then I took an edible black marker and I highlighted the whole drawing and it's going to give a really, like a really nice look to this drawing. And allowing that to dry on a baking sheet in the oven if the oven light turned on but if the oven turned off and repeat that for both patterns of your fondant For our cake, I'm using an 8 layer cake and I have another tutorial on how I made this cake so feel free to check it out in the link above and I just layered that cake and I crumb coated the cake. I didn't go for like a perfect crumb coat. I wanted it as smooth as possible but I wasn't being too finicky with it. So you're going to crumb coat that cake and allow it to set completely and add a little bit of that buttercream to allow your panel to stick to it. And you're going to take your dried panel fondant, place it onto the cake using a fondant smoother to press it up firmly against the cake and repeat it with all sides of your paneling. And make sure you've measured your panels properly because as you can see, I messed up a bit, but I just patched that in with some extra fondant and a little bit of a fondant paste to get rid of any major cracks. And I'm finished. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's tutorial. I had a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I was inspired by Fenty Beauty and I'm really glad I was able to do this cake and I hope you like it. It was so much fun to make. I felt really creative whilst I was making it. So I hope to see your recreations. Please tag me at Sugar Spice and Rosé on Instagram or at Sugar Spice and Rosé .co on TikTok. Just I would love to see your recreations of it if you do. Thanks so much for watching and I really hope to see you next week. Bye.